afternoon, as you know, Peter Hillier was murdered either on Sunday night or in the early hours of Monday morning um, on the west coast of South Australia. Um, you'll recall he'd been travelling with a 43-year-old man and had been in company with that man for a period of time and that person's now in custody, charged with Peter's murder and been remanded in custody following a court hearing. This has now become a joint investigation between Major Crime Investigation Branch and local detectives from the West Coast. And I can say that the investigation is progressing rapidly and extremely well. Um, and a significant um, reason for that is the cooperation that we've had from the media, Crime Stoppers and members of the public. I'm happy to say last night we had 11 calls to Crime Stoppers and those calls were instrumental in us being able to identify a scene at Pucha late last night and our detectives and police from Sejuna guarded the scene overnight and today we flew a forensic response team over there to examine the scene. That scene's at the rear of the Poochera Art Gallery and we have recovered crucial evidence from the scene that makes clear to us that there was a very uh, significant assault at that location. And as I say, we've recovered evidence from the scene which will help the investigation significantly. We now have been able to establish a motive, the cause of death and the location of the death, uh, the location of the assault, but it's unclear whether Peter died at the scene or was transported elsewhere or back to Venus Bay before he died. What we want to try and establish now is uh, the movements of Peter and the offender, in particular from about 4.30 p.m. on Sunday. We know Peter and the offender arrive in the van at Poochera at about 4.30 p.m. and they remained uh, for most of that time at the rear of the art gallery. We know that the Peter was subjected to a vicious assault between 7.30 and 8.30 p.m. and the injuries he sustained in that assault would be capable of causing his death. As I say, we don't know if Peter died there, but we do know that he was placed into the van and later he ended up on the floor in the shack at Venus Bay. So we're appealing to the public if anybody has seen Peter or the van from 4.30 p.m. on Sunday, um, really anywhere on the west coast, but certainly in the Poochera, Venus Bay area. I'm happy to take questions. Um, what was the, can you shed any light on the particular tip off that led you to, was it Poochera or Poochera? Poochera. Poochera, what, did somebody see the assault? Uh, I won't talk about the witness, only because I want to respect that person's privacy. Um, but I can say that the witnesses were able to identify a location to us where the assault occurred and we recovered items <coughs> from the scene that we can directly connect uh, to the victim. When you say they spent most of their time behind the art gallery, what were they doing? Yeah, there's, um, they're basically drinking and socialising at the back. When you said that you believe you have a motive, can you elaborate on that? Uh, no, that's not something I can share with you. And do you believe that at least one of the men were at the pub earlier that day? Yes. So do you think that they were highly intoxicated when this happened? I think it's more likely than not that um, both were intoxicated. Mm -hmm. And are you aware that any of them had a particular interest in the art gallery? Oh, they, they would, may well have had an interest in the art gallery. Um, can you tell us anything about, was it just that particular call that helped you, um, like one person? No, there was at least a couple of calls, and, and those calls were able, um, once we'd actually received that information from Crime Stoppers and made contact, they were happy to speak to us and have been cooperating with us and we're grateful. Are they people who know either the victim or the accused or, or members of the public? Uh, they're people who've, who've come to know who they are in the last month. 
Um, do you think now the trip or this fishing trip to Streaky Bay Port like it ever happened or is that I can't see how um, they would have been able to go to Port Lincoln as was originally told to us. I guess it is possible at some point on Sunday that they did go to Streaky Bay and went fishing but there's no evidence to support that. It's just possibility. Beyond drinking, is there a particular reason why they went to fish? Uh, they clearly went there to socialise. Were there other people they were socialising with? Yes. Was that a bit of a spot back then that people meet at Put Putcher and, and drink behind our gallery? Well, Putcher is a little little country town. And, yeah, there's lots of reasons to visit Putcher. So somebody who was somebody who was with them on that Sunday has been able to provide you with some 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 details and everything. I won't go into it who has told us what, but we received information clearly from people um, to indicate a scene to us and to indicate movements. Last question, so do you think he was ran over at the art gallery? Or do, you think, do you think he was ran over with a car at the art gallery or was it mostly a physical assault that caused his injuries? We haven't found any evidence to support the notion that he was run over by the car. It's more likely he was viciously beaten to such an extent that surviving those injuries was not a possibility. Just lastly, sorry, you mentioned yesterday that there wasn't a, a murder weapon that you found in it. Are you looking for one or do you think this was potentially there isn't a murder weapon as such? Uh, we found what we believe to be a murder weapon today, but we won't be able to confirm that until we've had the forensic testing done on it. And have you been able to shed any more light on the relationship between the two, why they were travelling together, um, how long they've been together for? Uh, we know that they've struck up a relationship interstate and they've travelled to South Australia together and they had indicated that they were going to travel around Australia together. Um, but outside that, we don't know yet because obviously the investigation's been focused on the West Coast. But as part of the investigation, we'll look at the antecedents of both and try to build a picture of their lives. Will you be searching any other properties in New South Wales or South Australia over the coming days, or are you confident that the art gallery is the main crime scene and back in Victoria's case? We're confident that the crime scene is the house where his body was located, and the area to the rear of the art gallery at Pucha is a crime scene, depending on whether Peter was alive or not when he left there. Um, there may be another crime scene, we're not sure where they went. Would you say that the victim was a wealthy man? It appears so. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, everyone. Is that a picture of the dark gallery?